Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV with my good friend Renko, CEO of Zostava USA. This is a gun that I have been harassed about. I mean, after the first time we looked at it was SHOT Show this past, yeah, this right. year, yeah, yeah, SHOT Show 2022, yes. yeah, yeah. And after that, constantly, people emailing me, James, when's it gonna come out, when's it gonna come out? So it just dropped a few weeks ago. The M77 is now in the United States. People can get it. Let's talk about it. What is the Zastava M77, Renko? Uh, Zastava M77 is a younger cousin of uh, Zastava M76. Uh, this one is uh, chambered in uh, 308. And uh, you are correct that the shot show, uh, we didn't even announce it. Uh, we just uh, had it on the wall. And during the interview, uh, <laughs> as the interview was going on, uh, we started receiving emails uh, mm -hmm. with the questions that I'm 77. So that tells you uh, how AK community is, uh, is watching every detail. And mm -hmm. that's what we appreciate about our customers, that they, they make us better company. Mm -hmm. uh, we listen to them, uh, to their demands, and we try to, to meet almost every demand. And this is one of, uh, one of the answers to, to the market demand. The M76 and the M77, have they ever been adopted by any military, seen any combat, any service? I mean, M76, yes. Uh, that, that, that's a well-known uh, firearm. Even in the United States, a lot of uh, Zastava fans know, know uh, uh, M76. And it was, and it's still used in the Serbian army. It was used in, uh, in uh, uh, Yugoslav army as, uh, as a DMR, actually. Mm -hmm. so. Designated marksman rifle. That, that's, yeah. that's correct, yeah. Uh, this rifle uh, is similar uh, with its characteristics and features actually uh, with the M M90, uh, specifically because it has the gas, uh, gas uh, adjustable uh, block and uh, with three settings. Uh, the difference uh, in the barrel is that it's slightly longer than uh, M90. Uh, this one is 19.7 uh, inches, so those two extra inches uh, will maybe give a, a better accuracy and uh, also changes a little bit balance of the of the gun so we already had some some feedback that it's it's a quite a stable gun to shoot what we changed from the original uh, setup uh, from the shot show is uh, is a buttstock because we found out that having a rubber pad is uh, makes the shooting uh, more comfortable and this stock is adjustable length and also has a cheek riser uh, and we think it's the best fit for uh, for this rifle the barrel you said about 20 inches cold hammer forged and chrome lined i assume that, that's correct yeah all zastava barrels are cold hammer forged and uh, as you know a couple of years ago again uh, answer to our uh, customers demands zastava started chrome lining uh, 762 barrels. Again, people were asking, when's it gonna come out? When are we gonna see the M77 after this January? The main issue you guys had was 922R compliance. Your philosophy is that you don't wanna screw with anything inside of the receiver. So you guys get a lot of your 922 parts from like the magazine and other components, right? Like, and, and so you were looking for a source for the magazines, right? Is that you see the the Zastava AK-based uh, uh, rifles uh, uh, been produced in in the factory for decades, and they were known to be reliable. Uh, then, uh, uh, due to 922R uh, requirements, uh, previous importers were forced to change some parts. So now that's where the difference is uh, in a, in a way how to comply. Uh, and uh, most of the past problems were uh, if you install uh, aftermarket parts inside the receiver, uh, receiver uh, mainly a trigger group. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of customers would think uh, trigger group is just drop-in part, but it's not. Mm -hmm. And we listened to uh, factory engineers, uh, and one of the advices was not to change anything inside the receiver, and uh, that way we can guarantee this rifle. Uh, that's why we went out of the way to find a good, reliable manufacturer in the United States of, uh, of magazines. And uh, what we have here is 20 round magazine that will count for uh, three parts. And uh, we, we have them available uh, for purchase to distributors, but also we have them online at ZastavArmsUSA.com. 
So let's say customer buys this rifle, they don't have to be afraid anymore. Oh, where do I get uh, magazines? Mm -hmm. uh, they are one click away. If you go to our website, they'll be shipped to your home. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's good info for everyone out there. But I appreciate the fact that you guys took a little bit longer to get this in the country because you wanted to give the owners and the purchasers of the M77 the closest to the original Serbian M77 design by not messing with any of the internals. I respect that a lot. I know it was a pain for you guys to get the magazines done, so I'm glad you did that. Let's talk about the handguards. I love, you've got like a cheese grater, Zastava Mark handguard, and, uh, and an yeah, aluminum this, lower. This here setup is uh, also for presentation, just to show uh, customers that there are options already for M77. Uh, the way it's shipped originally now, it's with the uh, with the polymer handguards. Mm -hmm. uh, but here we have a Zastava universal um, hang lower handguards that will fit on M77 and M70 and M90. Uh, we had uh, a few samples uh, in the beginning where uh, M77 required uh, just a slightly longer mm -hmm. handguards, but we resolved that issue so you will not have a wobble anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, those were just samples that uh, were imported for just so, for, so we can test them. And then you have a, a vented uh, upper hanger that helps a lot with the with the with cooling process. Mm -hmm. And we also think it, it fits this rifle very well. Talk to me about the optic mount back here too while we're talking about accessories. Yeah, we we have a, a Zastava uh, optic mount that. Uh, that's been available for a over a year, and it's been uh, uh, one of the best-selling items online uh, and with, with distributors. But uh, we also wanted to introduce uh, maybe uh, uh, one extra option to customers. So this, this mount is uh, in a process uh, and hopefully will be available by the end of the, this year. The idea about this scope mount is that it sits low but still you can use uh, mechanical sights if you remove the optics without removing the, the scope mount. And uh, at the same time you can strip fill the rifle so there is enough height for you to remove the cover, remove the bolt carrier. So that was the idea uh, behind this, uh, this uh, design. And uh, also it will be made uh, in Serbia. So uh, that will, will match the, the rifle quite well. So. There's very little different at its core between the M77 and the M90. You're talking about this being a true 308 AK. It's just the same gun in 308, a little bit more robust, right? That, that's correct. And uh, with this rifle, I think we are uh, the only importer in the United States that have now offer AKs in three calibers. We, as you know, we have a 762 by 39. Then uh, at your gun fest, we introduced mm -hmm. uh, five, uh, 556 or 223, uh, and now we have 308. So now I think we satisfy uh, everybody's uh, taste when it comes to, uh, to a ca uh, caliber, and you still get this uh, real, reliable Zastava system. Talk to me about the gas adjustment system. How does that work? How do I set it? Per owner's manual, uh, you should start with, uh, with uh, setting number two. Uh, for a first 200 rounds. Uh, that's approximately 200 rounds. It might be 100 rounds, it might be 300 or 500. Uh, when it breaks in, then you put it on a setting one. Uh, setting one being the least amount the of least gas amount, three yes. being the most. And that's where I would start. And then depending on the um, ammunition, uh, you will see if your rifle cycles properly, then I, uh, we, we uh, recommend leaving it in setting one. Uh, if you have feeding issues, then you go back to setting two. Mm -hmm. uh, and that that's, uh, should remain, uh, but also with the, if you change the uh, type of ammo, uh, we would also try to readjust the uh, uh, gas by putting on setting one to see if that ammo will, will cy cycle properly. So that is, uh, we would compare it maybe to, uh, for our view viewers who drive a, a stick shift, uh, vehicle transmission, you know, you have to tune it depending on uh, what kind of uh, ammo you're using. Same like you have to tune your driving depending on the road that you're driving on. Let's talk about ammo while we're there. 
there's a lot more variation in 308 ammo than there is, mm -hmm. in my experience, at least in the United States, than 76239 mm -hmm. uh, or even 556. So uh, what should I know about different types of 308 ammo? This rifle has been tested from uh, 150 grain to uh, 180 grain, and it should uh, uh, cycle and function properly with, uh, with the either uh, weight of, uh, of ammo. When it comes to uh, a pressure, uh, that's where uh, we can uh, help with the, with the uh, gas regulator. Again, it goes, if you see that your rifle, uh, uh, if the ball carrier slams the rear tronion, mm -hmm. that's a good sign that you should decrease the uh, flow. <laughs> right. And uh, that's why we have this, uh, this regulator. Regulator comes handy uh, also in different situations where uh, during a high temperature or low temperature environment, or if you are not able to clean your rifle, uh, then even uh, setting three might be handy uh, until you get into a normal situation where you can maintain it properly. It is August the 12th, and you are sold out of these rifles, right? Yeah, we sold our first batch. Uh, most of it was also uh, pre-ordered. As soon as we got, it, uh, we got it into the country, we shipped it and now we expect the next uh, shipment in, in fall. Uh, by then we'll get, a, we're already getting very positive uh, feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, no uh, issues uh, reported with this rifle and uh, whoever shoots it, it's a uh, it's surprise how well it shoots. And uh, it's actually for being 308, uh, uh, it kicks a little bit more. Uh, but with this rubber pad and uh, with proper setting, I think uh, you can tune, fine tune it to be really uh, pleasant uh, to shoot. If I want one right now, I'm probably going to be waiting until the fall, till mm -hmm. the next shipment comes in. How much am I going to pay? What's the MSRP? MSRP is uh, just below 1500 but uh, they sell uh, around uh, just slightly above 1400 we've mm -hmm. seen in the stores. Again, we are not uh, uh, selling directly to public. So if you, if our customers see sometimes uh, uh, increased pricing, uh, that's not uh, Zastav Arms USA. It all depends in which part of the country you are. We also understand our brick and mortar stores. Not everybody has the same expenses. So, but they are they they will be uh, and they should sell always uh, below 1500, which we think for this rifle is. Uh, is a good price and again we give a uh, huge margins to distributors uh, to uh, give them, give them uh, more uh, power to to satisfy their dealers their customers so i think everybody will be happy in this chain Renko, thank you for walking us through the m77 i know that everyone has been god i'm so glad that you guys are importing it so i stopped getting emails about it <laughs> just kidding i always love it when you guys email you see something exciting on the program and i in fact share that information with manufacturers you know i say hey renko you know we got a lot of people emailing me they're excited about this get it in the country so we appreciate the fact you brought it in we appreciate the fact that you've been with us on tfb tv and guys we appreciate the fact that you're watching everyone stay tuned we're bringing you more from zostra usa